Hello there, and <coughs> welcome to the photo adventure today with me and Betsy. There she is. We're back on the Isle of Mull. Uh, the last visit was quite short and eventful, trying to move my sister. We had trouble with the ferries and everything, so I didn't get many videos there. But I'm back. Um, Betsy's here as well. And join me in a minute. We've got this beautiful old pier at Salon and we're currently at low tide so I'm going to shoot this now so you've got the big posts and then just a little bit later in the video I'm going to move around to the old the old wrecks here and try and catch them at high tide so you're going to get this pier and the old wrecks all in one video absolutely beautiful no way to get started So my first composition, Betsy come here, um, I'm literally going to try and get this beautiful green, I, I hope it looks as saturated on the GoPros it does in real life, it is, it looks fake, it is that green, it's un incredible, um, but I'm going to focus on this, the detail in the seaweed in the rocks just here, um, once I focus down literally three meters beyond the pier stumps will be in focus anyway uh, my settings for this i'll just show the back of the camera so my settings for this are i'm shooting as iso 100 i'm at f16 because because i'm doing a focus stack there and there that will that, that second point will get the post in focus as well um, and i do want good depth of field behind so I'm shooting f16 for this shot um, looks a beautiful little scene I may even put a 10 stop filter on and just do a really long exposure there just to blur out some of the uh, the water looks beautiful I've got an eighth of a second and yeah I think I'm gonna get the 10 stopper out so I've just moved up a little bit oil on some rocks and my shot now is just going to be pretty much just a little clump of rocks with bits of green in and orange in the foreground and then the pier just looking out from this kind of angle beautiful old thing this is absolutely beautiful I'm going to do a couple of long exposures with a 10 stop filter and may even may even try and incorporate this little boat there is a, a line tether in it which I could probably use as a leading line from the bottom corner I'm thinking but there is a lot of ripple on it so I think it'll be two shots it'll pretty much be a fast shot to freeze the boat and then maybe a long exposure just to smooth all the water out there's not much wind there's enough to keep the midges at bay thank god they have been eating me alive but uh, absolutely beautiful this if you look literally over there you're not going to sit on the GoPro I don't think but just there are the old wrecks and I've been photographing these for five six years now and each year when I come back they do deteriorate more and more and more and I think one of the times I'm going to come they're just going to be vanished they're going to be swept off into the sea absolutely beautiful morning there's beautiful cloud everywhere it was raining when I started out but it's now stopped so 
Yeah, I'm going to grab a couple of shots and fish turns out any good. Opera's on for you right now. I'm now going to set up a vertical um, just to get the rock right under my feet here in the shot as well I'm not going for any epic compositions the light is dreadful it's dark and it's moody so that's the kind of thing I'm going to go for and let me just show you the back of the camera and I'll talk you through what I'm going to do so for this shot I'm literally going to do a focus stack I'm going to do 30 second exposure there then another 30 second exposure on the pier stumps and then I'll blend these two together in Photoshop so I've put the 10 stop filter on I've got 30th of a second f11 and ISO 100 and hopefully this will look beautiful so that's it for this pier um, at the night time you do get all the cormorants and other birds on here on each of the posts you can get some fantastic shots at night here um, the sun does set pretty much straight in front when it's dark enough the you can get the aurora here and literally north is pretty much that way through the valley and it lights up all the lock um, green so there is a forecast for aurora friday night I think we've got this kind of cloud it is breaking up low cloud so hopefully we can uh, come out about midnight when it's just about getting dark we may get something probably going to be later in the year when it starts to get dark earlier but uh, yeah I'll just leave you with that little view there beautiful Alp here and an absolute gem on the autumnal um, literally from Salon in the town you turn left there's a signpost saying Salon Pier um, just follow the little track all the way down and you come straight to it you can park I'll just show you the car you park right by it so it's pretty easy for anybody to access as well but absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful a so sunrise the the Sun does come up over that way which as you're looking at me now right behind the camera you have the old boats so if you want a sunrise photo you can go over the other side get the boats you can come around here for a beautiful sunset with this pier if we do get a sunset one of the nights i will come here for the for the photo um well, yeah absolutely beautiful so that's it for part one of this little vlog um doing the pier i'm now going to wait for the tide to come in we are currently at low tide now so i think high tide is about one o'clock so i should come back then um round to the boats and i'm hoping to do some lung exposure there because we have got we've got a gentle breeze which is putting a ripple on the water but i want to try and get the boats with a lung exposure so i shall throw the tent stop on and grab a couple of lung exposure shots with the old boats I haven't done, done long exposure with these before they're just normal exposures I've had quite good conditions moody skies beautiful skies everything but never a dull day like this for a long exposure so I'm quite looking forward to it so join me shortly and I'll be back at high tide for the old Rexford sailing so beautiful old Rexford sailing uh, I've been photographing these now for oh, probably knocking on eight ten years and it's fantastic just watching them disintegrate and fall apart they are beautiful old things just outside the village on the way up towards Tobermurray I uh, only get a couple of photos now and I'll talk you through in a minute
just took through my first composition. I'm not going to get a couple of compositions here. Literally one from this side and then one just from around the other side. Um, they are stunning. I did want to try and catch this with the water right up, to, right up here so I can get the reflection. Um, like I said earlier this morning when I did the pier, I tide is supposed to be around 2.30 which it is now but it must just be a low high tide because the water as you can see isn't up here. Um, it probably needs an extra good three meters to get a reflection on it so I will come back again for that one but I'm going to get a couple of photos here and I'll put these on at the end of the video. It looks beautiful it does. So first little composition it literally just as you look at the boats from the left hand side my settings are quite simple ISO 100 F16 I want to try and get everything in. I'm going to come down to F11 I think um, I have just took this shot at F16 so I will come down now to F11 it is a little bit sharper just to get a bit more detail um, shutter speed is 50 of a second I will also do another shot at probably one stop over uh, underexposed just to try and bring a bit of detail into the sky um, the sky as you can see it's pretty dull pretty boring I don't know if you can see the old pier in the distance where I was this morning beautiful place this so I'm now going to uh, just get a couple of detail shots now the texture and stuff on this boat is absolutely incredible so I'm just going to be a little walk around and just pick a couple of little intimate scenes just to uh, just to show some of the detail and the decay on the boat they look beautiful I'm going to turn the GoPro around just to try and show you now just look at this detail absolutely incredible little trees growing out of it it is absolutely stunning as I say there are beautiful little shots to be had just this little detail and the textures the shapes here, there's form here, there's everything. It's got absolutely everything. Beautiful. Well, that's it for today. I, uh, I'm done with this. I'm going to go back now and uh, get something to eat because I'm absolutely starving. Um, absolutely beautiful, these wrecks are. Absolutely stunning. So, the drone video looks, the drone footage looks beautiful. Um, I hope you enjoyed that at the beginning. It's just uh, that incredible if you come to Mull just come into these uh, boats they are fantastic there are links down below in the description um, I will also be adding a link on to my sister's B&B uh, um, she's not up and running yet but as soon as she is I will put a link on in the description so if you fancy visiting Mull um, keep checking back and there will be a link there to her b, b just literally it's probably a five minute walk from here you can also walk to the pier in literally minutes um, yeah if you like these images or from the pier this morning drop me a comment uh, let me know your thoughts yeah I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna find somewhere to walk better on the way back and go and get something to eat so I'll just put the photographs on now and until next time take it easy <laughs>